Casey Neistat. Woo! The big question, the big elephant in the room today is why does Casey actually wear glasses in his video? Now, in filmmaking, there's always been four walls, but typically you only utilize the three. You never use that, utilize the fourth, which is this wall here. Now, the fourth wall is essentially when you talk to the audience or you bring the audience into the film and make them part of the film. Now, again, in a typical movie, that this fourth wall is essentially non-existent. It's there, but it's not utilized, right? Typically, when you watch a film, you're essentially watching it as if you're a fly on the wall and you're just floating around the room. The fourth wall, and when you utilize the fourth wall, it's to bring the, the, the viewer into your film to make them feel a part of it, make them feel like they're with you. And I feel like that's why vlogging has really taken off because for years, people never really could feel like they could feel somebody. But with this fourth wall, you can feel like you can touch them and you can talk to them and you feel part of the film versus a viewer of the film. Just a few things about the fourth wall, a couple movies and shows that do that very well are movies like Deadpool, which I think they crush the fourth wall. Oh, hello. I know, right? Whose balls did I have to fondle to get my very own movie? I can't tell you, but it does rhyme with Pulverine. And let me tell you, He's got a nice pair of smooth criminals going under. And a TV show called uh, The House of Cards, they did a swell job of the fourth wall. I think I loved it tremendously. And Set by the Bell, they did it as well. They were always great at breaking that fourth wall. Okay, enough about the rain about the fourth wall. That wasn't the point of today's subject. I just got a little bit excited there. What I want to talk about is why Casey actually wears his glasses. And he, mentioned, he has mentioned this before. And it's because right now I'm actually looking at, well, I'm actually looking here, but I'm looking at the side camera. See, I'm looking at this, or the monitor, which allows me to see if I'm in frame or not. Now, when I have the glasses on, you really can't tell, so you always feel part of my, of me. You feel connected to me. But if I'm looking at this, you don't feel as connected because I'm not looking at you. I'm really not looking at the fourth wall. I'm looking to the right of the fourth wall versus when I'm looking at you. Now you feel more connected. If these are on, you can't tell where I'm looking, so you always feel connected. I 100% agree, that's exactly why he does do it. However, he has gone through a ton of sunglasses and he's now sticking with these one for quite some time. Here's especially lifestyle vloggers, vloggers like me. What works best? What typically works? Now, I noticed myself the last couple episodes, me looking deeply into his sunglasses. The thing about them is by turning them into a video, but uh, I, I will say this, I, I don't think there's anything. That being essentially almost a fifth wall. Follow along here. So the fourth wall again is this wall here, and his sunglasses are very reflective sunglasses. So when I'm looking through his sunglasses, I can then see his camera and everything behind the scenes, allowing an extension of the actual scene, which is incredible. And again, he may not think about that, but that's exactly what I'm thinking. I'm like, because it's weird because sometimes he'll hold it really, really long and you can see it. And because there, there's sometimes when he shoots a shot, I'm like, what is he using? What is he holding? What does this setup look like, right? Because you're like, he's not using his typical camera. There's no way. And I find myself in like, just insanely looking into his glasses, trying to break through that and see the other side and see what's going on in the other end of this camera. And I think that is possibly why he uses those particular sunglasses. I know he has to know. I know he has to see it. I'm like, dude, that's like a fifth wall. Like, there's another aspect to this video that has never really been thought of, right? Because you have this, this, and this, and this, but I'm always thinking, what is on the other side? The thing, the side that I can't see, what is over there? And I feel like he's found the way of breaking that fifth wall, some crazy way. I don't know, maybe I'm out, maybe I'm out of control, but I just think that, I really like using these because I feel a lot more confident while I'm talking because you guys have no idea. This is fantastic. No wonder he uses these things. This fifth wall crap is stupid. No. But that's that's all I have for you guys today. I feel like, what was that show? But if you haven't watched Casey's stuff, go look at it and just like look through his glasses. It's crazy. Like you get to see, again, what he's using, how his setup looks. And especially with me vlogging, I always like to see what other people are doing, how they're using it. So maybe some other people typically don't care. They're just watching for their entertainment purposes. But I like to watch to learn and grow. and expand on, on my videography my videography so anything I can see and take from his videos I try to pick and pull whatever I can so that is today's vlog make sure you stop back by tomorrow because it is every damn day make sure you love to you left here and as always peace